Now, what comes to mind when we say maths? Numbers, equations, exams, school, many of us start to sweat, feel pretty nervous actually. Yeah, and if you do, you're not alone. A recent <laughs> poll showed that one in five Britons felt the same when shown a maths problem. And our failure to embrace mathematics is having a big impact on workplace activity, uh, productivity. In the UK, for example, poor numeracy skills cost the UK economy around $25 billion each year. Uh, but there could be an answer. One person on a mission to make us fall back in love with maths is Grace Olivaldi. Uh, she's created two board games, uh, Be Genio at uh, Maths and Race to Infinity, aimed at building our confidence in the subject. And please say Grace joins us this morning. Grace, lovely to see you. Welcome. Thank you. So you were an investment banker and you left to create these board games and, and start a, a, a business. Tell us about that journey. Yeah, so my background is investment banking and um, I've always loved maths from I was very young because my dad supported me when I was 10 years old with mathematics and made maths fun and creative. Um, so while I was at university, I started volunteering with Sarge and Cass Foundation and we went into schools in London um, to help children who were struggling with maths build their mathematics confidence, but through games. And that's and, where the idea came from. And one from. of the things you say is it's not about whether you're a maths person or not, whether you've got a maths brain, everybody can do it there isn't a special gift and yet you said i love maths i just love maths and that's that seems to be the thing you either love it or you hate it that's correct um i always say that there is no such person as a maths person you know maths is only a skill and any skill just really needs deliberate practice with the right guardians of course um so anyone can get better at maths. Uh, and let's talk about the game because it's about trying to make it more fun, isn't it? Um, because, and as Sally touched on, that idea that if we don't enjoy it, we're not very good at it, it suddenly seems to be uh, a big thing in our lives. You shy away from it, you don't embrace it at all. So the point of the game is to get people from an early age to find the fun in it. Is that how it works? That's correct. The point of the game is to help children fall in love with mathematics um, because I believe that the important thing is to catch them young. and people have a lot of problems when they grow older and even as young children a lot of people have mathematical anxiety so I created the board game to help children fall in love with mathematics and start loving maths more, enjoying maths more. Why a board game and not an app? We are going to be creating the app as well so we are in the process of creating the app but we started with a board game because that's kind of how I started with my children to help them uh, love maths more and I like the fiscal idea. I mean, I do love a board game, personally, I have to say, but my three boys, who two of them struggle with maths, yeah. the school really encourages them with various games on their tablets, on their devices, because that's what they're on anyway. And it's sort of an easier transition for me. I, would, I think I'd have a job to get them to sit around the table and play a, a board game about maths, if that makes sense. Um, the way it works, I think, is a lot of parents are also getting a bit tired of children being on apps and you know online stuff all day long and in front of screens so it's also a way to get children away from screens and I get my children to come say let's let's play a game and it's not they don't remember it's maths they just think it's fun because the whole idea is children are playing but they're learning and not realizing that they're learning uh, and clearly with your professional background doing what you did then um, you know the value of maths in the workplace I mean that figure we talked about that productivity gap at the start is astonishing that if actually we all embrace maths a little more the value to the economy is huge and you must have seen that every day that's correct um, it would certainly help us to um, become more globally competitive and you know Britain is missing a lot of the math skills that we need and it's basic fundamental maths um, because too many children hate maths don't think that they can get good at it and they find it a boring chair and it leads them to mathematical anxiety which is sweaty palms you know heart beating lumping their throats it doesn't exist it's in the mind and it's about helping our children to love maths more but schools and parents and that's the whole idea of race to infinity game well good luck grace thank you really Might hope take you, you on. get Take me on, afterwards. take me on. We'll practice our maths <laughs> a little later. Uh, it's really nice to see you, Grace. Thank you for coming in. Thanks, uh, good luck with it all. Thank you. Algebra was my weak point. Forget that. I was all about, yeah, angles. and kind of You like your angles, do you? No, not very good at angles. Should we get a new angle on this next story? <laughs>